So I'd give an introduction to the new R3 firmware. So it's got the same personalization as the R7 International. Um, it's got a slightly different email address. Um, it's idmyrd at gmail.com however it needs to be recovered. So again idmyrd at gmail.com on that. Um, so the main difference I'll just go through the menu. Most of it's the same as before. A few things have moved around a bit. So we had voice here before. Voice has moved to the, towards the end of the menu. So you can get it at it from the other side. Um, we've got still got X band. Um, K band. Now, well, the main difference is, is we've got K wide as normal R3. K narrow. We've got K narrow NZ. So K narrow on this is now 24.05 to 24.100. Menu. Um, segmentation. As before, uh, one of the things some of you might not have seen, we don't need it in New Zealand, but I kept it in anyway. As you've got signal priority, K A M R C D priority. You've got those features as well from the um, US firmware. got quite right MRCD as well which obviously we don't need either but it's in there. So we've got voice here where it used to say self test we don't have self test anymore because it was basically just a demo mode. Um, actually I could use that as well to demonstrate the... Anyway, so just demonstrate something as well. Exit. So I just said it read as for a, a US R3 would be. If we do factory reset, factory reset completed. the factory reset is set for New Zealand. So all the settings are what I would normally have it set to for New Zealand, so GPS on, blah 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 blah. KA frequency voice on, you can turn it off or not, but it's on by default now. So K filter was on, K blocks on, K narrow is on by default, segmentation is on by default, set for New Zealand. All threats is on by default. Green colour is on by default. The unit is kilometres now by default. Quite right is 40 kilometres now by default. Exit. So those are all the default settings. things and um, obviously got the R7 here as well. 
the R7 is set K wide at the minute. So just going to do a very quick brief test on the Boschnall. So that's 23.95 at the moment on the Bushnell. So we don't get any alert on the R3. Menu. K wide. Exit. So I'm just going to set it to K wide as well. So that's normal. There's no way to improve the width of K-band on the R3. Turn GPS off. Exit. Exit. Okay, so I must have had a bit of interference there. So twenty four oh eight. Obviously, don't run two detectors side by side like this. Um. So twenty four oh eight. Is within K narrow, so I'm just going to go up a bit. Can you see that? So 2411. Menu. So that's actually about where a Mazda false would be. K narrow. K narrow NZ. Now the R7 running full wide gets that detection, but the R3 on the new firmware, which is now K narrow NZ at 2405 to 24.100, does not get picked that up. So if now we go down a bit. Okay, 24086 is now within the lower segment or the lower K narrow on the R3 so that now picks it up. And if we go lower twenty four oh three six. So that's a typical red flex area. So you're not gonna get many red flex mobile cameras with the R3, it doesn't matter what I do to it, it's just not going to get them. The R3 will, I mean sorry, the R7 will, but the R3 won't, but we know that. But it is at least a lot quieter. Um, so that was really the main things, so the new improvement. Um, I did some video this morning on um, driving around, so I'll show that as well later on. But yeah, that's basically it. That's the new firmware. Menu. So Exit. That's personalization again. And if you press menu on that, if you don't want to view it all the time, you can just press the menu and it'll skip straight to the um, normal thing. So you don't have to... If you're in a hurry and you want your R3 to suddenly start detecting, you can... You can skip that by pressing the menu button, um, but you can't. You can't turn off the anti-theft. Um, so that's there. 
And that's it. still get some falses, but you won't get that many. Twenty-four 
So we're running K4NZ now, still, as we did on the Red Flex pole mount camera. And yeah, we shouldn't get many falses, there'll be a few, but shouldn't be too many. Right on, but there's no falses, there's nothing on the R3, it's just showing me the time. So the supermarket false has been filtered out. Speed times, there were 24, 1, 5, 6, I think, when I ran K wide. 